How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and I'm really excited to share with you a new set of videos I'm going to bring to the channel here. We're going to start the Abbey Road series. I've had a lot of fun breaking down entire albums here on the channel so we're going to keep it going with the Abbey Road series. We're going to break down every single song in chronological order on the album and today we're going to kick it off with How to Play Come Together by the Beatles on guitar. But before we get into it, I really appreciate your support at the links below. I've got a free blues training series. It's a set of videos that you can get that are not on YouTube that come with tabs and some really great lessons that are going to help you for playing songs like Come Together, where we're going to introduce today this kind of blues rhythm figure to play the rhythm guitar part. All right, well, with that said, let's dive into today's lesson. Let's break down how to play Come Together by the Beatles on guitar. We're going to start off with the intro section. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. This is an awesome riff that uses a double stop and a power chord with a little hammer on as well in there. We're going to play a D5 power chord. So you put your first finger up here on the 10th fret of the E string and then third finger on the 12th fret of the A string. So you got those two notes. We're going to do two down strums, one and, and then we're going to play a hammer on from the 10th fret to the 12th fret on the 5th string. So. Then you use your first finger to get this double stop. This is going to cover two strings. We're going to play the 10th fret on the 4th and 3rd string. Now the idea is to do this hammer on, let that note ring out, and then add the double stop. And it ends up creating like a D minor seven kind of chord, which is the basic chord that's the underlying chord here. So that goes four times for the intro. Let's try it together. One, two, three, Four. Then we move into the verse, which is where John Lennon's vocal comes in and he starts singing the melody. And for the verse, we're going to actually use this really cool blues rhythm pattern that sounds like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and... So I'm playing there, again, based off of that D5 power chord. I'm playing one, and with a palm mute. So I'm palm muting that chord, one, and. and. Then on beat two, I'm reaching that pinky up, right? A little pinky action there up to the 14th fret on the fifth string. So it's two here without the pinky and then two with the pinky on. One, and two, and three, and just alternating. We're going to play this for four bars, so we've got eight notes here. I'll, I'll play four bars of it for you. Three and four and. Here come old flat top, he come. Then after that fourth bar, we're going to shift down. We'll keep our fingers on the same strings. Just move it down to the fifth fret. We're going to now play the same riff based off of the note A. 
here we're gonna go. This time half the length of what we did on the D. So we'll play two bars of it. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and then G5. Now here we're just gonna hit the third fret. So we shift the chord down to the third fret, hit it once, let it ring out. One, two, three, four, two, two, back to the intro. Verse again. Then we go to the chorus. So let me show you what I played there for the chorus. We're gonna play just a, a little quick chord progression here. It's like two bars long. I go to a B5, and I like playing it here on the second fret of the fifth string. So two and then four on the fourth string. And I'm gonna play eighth notes, all down strums. I'm not palm muting here though. I lift up the palm muting and I go one and two and three and. Then on the fourth beat, four and, I take off that first finger and I get like, here's a B5 and then it's over A. So I put that A in the bass, just for one beat. See that? One and two and three and four and. Then I go to G, up to A. So for G here, I'm playing the third fret and the fifth fret, but on the sixth string. We'll do one and two, and then on beat three, we hit that A and then we rest. So this whole two bar little refrain here, or chorus, goes like this. So the only other sections we would need to talk about are the keyboard solo, right? And that's where you hear this. And for that section, we, we play the verse, but there's a slight variation. It goes like this. So the variation that I played there was I didn't go down to the G where we, we normally have that da, 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 da. we normally do that in the verse, but when the piano solo is happening, we just stay on the A. And there's a lead guitar, you know, playing that over the ba, ba, da, da. Ba, 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 da, da. back to the intro. Then finally, when we end the tune, we just stay on D. And we just vamp out. Have fun practicing Come Together by the Beatles. As usual, I would recommend you going and playing it along with the recording. This song has a really kind of greasy, funky feel to it. And so you want to play this rhythm part right along with the recording to help you get that groove down. Before you go, don't forget to download my free book, Melodic Expressions, and get the Blues Training Series. Again, these videos are not on YouTube. They come with tabs, and they're going to show you some great blues guitar lessons completely for free. So check that out at the link below. As always, leave any comments for song requests. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Beep.